also want to have as part of the gun initiative though an informational campaign to really change the hearts and minds of people in Washington DC and in particular our young people they are saturated uh, in the media and in entertainment or by the entertainment industry with violence and I think too many of our um, young people in particular our young men are fascinated with violence and in particular fascinated with guns and what we need to do is change the way in which people think about guns, especially young people, and make it something that's not cool, that it's not acceptable, it's not hip uh, to carry a gun anymore. Uh, in the way in which we've changed our attitudes about cigarettes, you know, when I was growing up, people smoked all the time. I mean, both my, my parents did. But over time, we changed the way in which people thought about smoking, and so now we have people who cower outside uh, of buildings and kind of smoke in private and don't want to admit it. Um, and that's what I think we need to do with guns, really change the way in which people think about that, to think about guns. Now, this is not going to be something that's very easy to do, uh, because we are, quite frankly, fighting something that appears, you know, every day on, on television, on, on the radio, in our popular music, uh, in movies that these kids are exposed to it will be an effort that will entail uh, things that I'm really not familiar with. Uh, I think I'm a pretty good lawyer, but I, we need to get really innovative, creative things that are going to grab the attention of these kids uh, and change, as I said, the way in which they think about guns. And so what I've asked is that the creative community in Washington, those ad agencies that create these snappy ads and make me buy things that I don't really need, um, devote that talent in a more constructive way to, so we can get at the minds uh, of these young people. This informational campaign, I've also called on the newspapers and the television stations to devote to us uh, time and space so that we can get these ads, so we can use these spots, and not to give us one, two o'clock in the morning uh, ads when nobody's watching, but at the time when people, particularly young people, are watching television, so that when they're watching, you know, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air or, or Martin or whatever else they watch, and yeah, I watch those things once in a while, um, so that they'll see these ads and they'll be grabbed by these ads. I've also asked people who have influence over youngsters, uh, entertainers, uh, athletes, to be involved in this program as well. But not only them, community leaders, uh, Jesse Jackson, Mayor Barry, people who have credibility with young people should be on the television, on the radio, uh, as much as we possibly can, and telling these youngsters that it's wrong to carry a gun and that if you have information about people who are carrying guns, you've got to share that with Chief Thomas and with his people as well. Uh, I've also asked the school board to make a part of every day some kind of anti-violence, anti-gun message. Every day, every school, at every level. One thing that I think is clear with young people and with adults as well is that we just have to be repetitive about this. It's not enough to simply have a, a catchy ad on a Monday and then only do it every Monday. We need to do this every day of the week and just really brainwash people into thinking about guns in a vastly different way. We also want to uh, have a hotline that we will set up and have the number of that hotline that would just go out there and that would be something that people would have emblazoned in their minds so that when they see a gun or become familiar about the facts of a gun crime, they would call that hotline and pass that information on.